All right, so tonight's workout, um, we are gonna finish up our week, um, our month, I'm sorry, of eccentric training, but we're gonna do a lot of HIIT training in here tonight as well. So look forward to that. We are using mini bands. We're actually gonna use them in the warm up um, along with the workout. So um, just light, like maybe a light one for upper body and a heavier one for lower body, just to change it up a little bit. And like I said in my email that I sent out that we're gonna use some heavy weights. So if you have heavy weights, um, grab those. If you don't have heavy weights, work with what you've got. Um, I, I have two different sets of weights so that I can modify if I need to. So, you know, that's always a great option, but that's where we're going. So with all that, let's warm up and I'm gonna change the view here for you guys. And let's go. <laughs> all right, so to begin with, we're gonna come to the end of our mat. We're gonna do some hinges. So straighten out those legs as much as you can, flat back, and then big inhale all the way up. And you can even thrust those hips forward a little bit and then we'll just go right back down. So if you've been sitting a lot, it is a great way to wake up the body. I've been driving a lot this afternoon. So I don't like driving. I mean, I like driving if you have to get somewhere. I don't like driving to run here. Oh, let's do one more time. So hinge up the hips and lift up and up. Good. Now we're going to sweep down into a small little ball and then come all the way up. The benefit of all the driving though is I got to see two cute little brand new babies. So it was kind of worth it, I have to say. And all the way up. Good, and two more. Very good, last one here. And then we're gonna take it right into an inch warm or a walk out. So hinging at your hips, all we're gonna do is walk out, push back into a downward facing dog. Hang out there for a moment, take a deep breath. And then walk your hands back into your feet. And we're gonna take our hands together, swing them all the way up. And let's do it again. Hinge up the hips, walk it out. Rock back to a downward facing dog. Drop your heels while you're here. And then walk your hands back to your feet. Hands together and swing those hands all the way up. And last time. So just a full body wake up here. Now start thinking about your core. Pull it tight to your back as you move through these positions, supporting your body. And hands together, swing it all the way up. Nice and easy there. Take a step forward into a lunge. So lunge, you're gonna take your arms up and rotate towards your front leg. Come back and then either hop your foot back a few times or take a full step back. Depends how your body feels. Some people, it doesn't feel great to take a full step back, so whatever works. Make sure you get that rotation to the other side, back to the center, and push back. One more on each side. Lunge, lift, and rotate. And take a step back. Good, last one on this side. Just focus on good lunging position, knee over ankle. Try to lift up out of your hips as you rotate. Come back to the center and step back. Good. Shake it all out. Sorry, I'll lift my nose for one second here. We are going to take it right back down onto our mat, this time mountain climbers. So these are going to be slow mountain climbers. Knee comes into the chest, pull your abdominals in tight, and then push back. Other side, slow, and push back. So I really like this because it helps us engage our abdominals. So really squeeze them tight and lengthen them as you push back. And just for fun, we'll do four fast. Here's four on each side. Three, two, sit back into a child's pose and drop your elbows to the ground and rotate your wrists. Okay, same thing, we're gonna do one more time. So come back out, hands or knuckles, your choice. This time go across your midline. So you're just changing it up, knee to opposite elbow. Think about the muscles working. Your obliques are now firing. And let's go four quick in each direction right here. Four, and three, two, and one. Sit back in that child's pose and stretch it out. Good. All right, then we come up, back up to our feet again. Now it's a little bit of up and down right now, that's okay. All right, so you've got a slow squat down, okay? And then big inhale up. And slow squat down, big inhale up, good. Just take it real easy. And all the way up, one more time. 
This is gonna change to full on jumping jacks. So you've got four and three, two. We're gonna do that same combo again, nice and slow. Slow down, big reach up. Good, sinking into your heels. I think I want you to fire up your glutes. So make sure they're working, that they're actually squeezing. And four jumping jacks right here. It's four, three, and here's your last time through. Slow down and up quick. Good, take this time, feeling a little bit of stretch in your ankles. And last time. And four big jumping jacks right here. Let's go, four, three, two, one. And roll those shoulders up, back, and around. All right, lateral movement. Just take a knee to the side, and then switch to the other side. Up, and around. Now, while you're doing this, slow. They go real slow. Feel your hips engaging. Feel the muscles actually working to move that leg around. So I'm giving you a lot of my, my little PT tips that I work on on a regular basis for glute and hip uh, firing because I'm not the only one that probably needs that, I'm sure. Any of us who are very active, which is almost all of you guys, right, have some issues with your glutes not firing and then you get some hip pain, knee pain, things like that. So this kind of movement, so good. And one more for each side. Good job. And last one right there. And pause for just a minute. So we're gonna get small squat down, come up onto our toes. Small squat down, up onto our toes. Again, just kind of waking up the calves and ankles. Nice job. You've got two more. And last one, we're gonna take this into full jumps, okay? If you're not ready to jump, you don't have to jump. And you've got two more. And we're gonna slow right back down again. Mini squat, roll up onto your toes. Good. Keep going. I'm gonna set my watch here, so stay on track. And one more time. All right, let's get those jumps. Again, soft landing. Don't make your whole floor shake. And two more. And last thing we're gonna do is put our hands together around the back of our head halo. You're gonna switch directions. It is hard to feel the ponytail in, <laughs> but do your best. Okay, so from the side view, we wanna to try to keep our chin off of our chest. And maybe you can't do it with your hands together and so you have to separate a little bit. That is okay. And last one right there, done. All right, so what I want you to do is grab your mini band, okay? I'm sorry, you're gonna grab your light mini band and put it around your forearms, okay? So we're gonna go right back to that hinge with the downward facing dog. So we're just adding a little engagement here for our shoulders. So hinge at your hips. You're gonna walk yourself out with your light mini band. Hold your plank position, rock back. Okay, and then walk your hands back to your feet. So then a little more tension, keep your hands hip distance apart. Swing them all the way up, hold at the top, engage your upper back, and then pinch forward again. Walk yourself out into that plank and rock back into your downward facing dog. This isn't meant to be the full workout, this is just round two of the warm up. Okay, so hands and our arms, our shoulder distance. Up at the top, pull that band apart, pull your shoulder blades down, and last time here, walk it out. Good. And rock back. And hands to your feet. And if you don't have a mini band, it's not a problem, right? You just do the exact same thing that you did on round one. And hold right there. Good. All right, release your hands for just a minute, get that shoulders a little rest. We're gonna step back into our lunge position here. Keeping the mini band on our forearms, we're gonna lift up, pull that band apart, and rotate. As you rotate, I want you to pull your elbows down to your ribs. Engage your back. As you come center, we're gonna stay on that same leg. So rotate first, pull your elbows down, hold, and rotate back. One more time on this side, and again. So you're rotating towards your front leg. And then all the way back up, we're gonna step that back leg up. And again, shake out your arms. Reset to the other side. So tuck the knee under the hip, and arms up, pull your band apart. Actually, more push your band apart. Rotate towards your front leg, pull your elbows down. Try to work on your posture, elbows are wide. Come back to the center, 
Still in your lunge. Rotate and pull. You may feel warm yet. And come back to center one more time here. And rotate and pull. Good. And right back to the center. And good. Bring it all the way up. All right, take your leg knee again. So a little bit heavier. You are going to put it underneath the bottoms of your feet. So up next are mountain climbers. So the band goes over your shoelaces, underneath the bottoms of your feet. And we are going to do some slow mountain climbers. Really feel our abdominals and glutes engage. So hands to the ground, feet hip distance apart. You want to feel your hips working here to hold your, your band apart. You're going to keep that same distance. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Ready? Pull it in. And then push it back. And then do the other side. Slow, slow, slow. Good. And just do it again. Nice and slow. And one more time. Now we're going to go just a tiny bit faster. Don't get crazy. Four on each side. And two more on each side. Very good. Last one. And sit back. Child's pose and rest. Move your wrist if you need to. Same thing. This time we're going to try to do cross body. So back up. Separate your feet. And cross body. Okay. Opposite knee to elbow. Push back. And switch. You've got to keep your foot flexed here as you're moving your knee across your midline. One more time. And now four fast on each side. Four. And three. And two. One more time. Done. Sit back and stretch it out. All right, while you're down here, slide your mini band up, stay around your ankles, and hop yourself up to standing position. We're going to move our mini band up to our quads. So if you remember next, this is a slow squat. So we're going to want to push against our mini band. Feet hip distance maybe a little bit wider. All right, we're going three to four counts down. Here we go, nice and easy. Big sweep up. And again, slow it down. And I want you to feel that push outward against your mini band. One more time, remember we have four jumping jacks with the band on, so here we go. It's four, three, two, one. Right back at it again, nice and slow. And lift. If you're not feeling this, walk your feet wider. Woo! Just waking up our glutes. And one more time. And then four big jumping jacks right here. Here we go. Open wide. And that'll do it right there, okay? I know, not too much. Next up, you just keep your band exactly where it is. Mini squat, and then lift up. Mini squat, lift up. Good. We're just giving our hips a tiny breather. And one more time. Now do five fast. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. We're going to do it one more time. Nice and slow. And lift. Nice and slow. Good. Take this time to warm up your feet. Sometimes we forget to do that. Okay? And they are so important because they are base. One more time. Five quick. Let's go. Five, four, three, and time is up. All right. Knee bands are next. So keep your band on exactly where it's at. You're going to lift one knee up, circle it around, and set it down. And then switch to the other side. Lift it up the front, circle it out and around, and set it down. Much harder, isn't it, with this band? Now you're going to notice that your stabilizing leg wants to turn in, doesn't it? Open your hips. Okay? And you can even keep the leg lower if you need to. Good, it's up, 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 open, 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 don't let that knee turn. Like headlights, you want your headlights always pointing forward when you drive, and when we move, we want our headlights forward too. And good, one more on each side. After this, we'll go into our halos, and then we'll be warmed up. Here's the last one. And you can just keep your mini band on, or if it's going up around your waist like mine is, <laughs> you can take it off. Halos is the last thing you're gonna do, take your lighter band. Pull it apart. So hands are on the outside of your mini band. Brace your core, soften your knees. Go around your head, stop. Around your head, stop. So you're pulling that mini band apart. Your chin is up off your chest. Good. Try to get that mini band all the way down to the back of your head. Shoulder mobility here. And one more in each direction. Go. 
Good, last one, we are warmed up. Okay, so phase one of the workout, okay? I need you to find a wall. I'm gonna use my little buffet over here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's not a wall, but it's gonna work. It's gonna make everything shake a little bit. But wall sit, okay? Put your back up against something solid with your knees over your ankles, your shoulders and hips are up against the wall. That is your wall sit. If you have nothing to wall sit against, you're gonna hold the squat. All right, so 30 seconds on the clock for our wall sits. Hold on one second. All right. So 30 seconds, sorry, dinner's beeping at me, so you know, you gotta take care of those things. All right, 30 second wall sit. So we're gonna just wake up the legs here, shoulders against the wall, belly button pulled in, and time starts right now. So just enjoy this little seated action. Woo. Feels good. Check in with your knees. Are they over your ankles? Can you go a little bit lower in that wall sit? My kids always laugh when we do wall sits because they're like, oh, you're not even doing anything. And then I make them do wall sits. <laughs> All right, we got three, two, one, and done. Bring yourself up, grab one weight. If you have two varieties of weight, you can grab a lighter one. We're gonna do some chops, all right? Just chop side to side here. So you're gonna take your weight out in front of you. It's a rotational movement. It's a mini squat with a chop side to side. And again, we've got 30 seconds here. Good. So it's just a swing to the side. If you wanna use your hands with no weight, you're welcome to do that. If you find that your knees are kinda knocking, then bring your legs close to each other so that they can squeeze against one another. But this movement is for the rotational movements in your uh, muscles in your trunk. Okay, abdominals right here. We're almost there. And one more time on each side. And time is up, good. Set that weight down for just a minute. Next up, we're going back to the wall. We're gonna make it a little more challenging. So, to the wall. This time, I want you to press your hands on your thighs. You're gonna lift those heels up and down. So working our calves, 30 seconds, and go. Good job. Heels up and down. Nice work. So if you don't want to do that option, you just stay with the first one. But if your low back is starting to arch away from the wall, push it in tight. We've got eight seconds. Come on, push down with your, thigh, with your hands on your thighs. And three, two, one, and done. All right, that rotational chop is gonna get a little bit bigger. Here's what's gonna happen. Up the center, and then down to one side. Up the center, down to the other side. So again, legs close if you feel like you can't control your knees. And three, two, one, up the center, and down to the side. Keep in mind, you can take that first option if you want to. Good, you're gonna feel your abdominals waking up especially as you stand tall and contract through your upper back. Nice okay, work. To modify, you can bend your elbows, take a shorter lever with your workload. Good job. And five seconds to go. Let's do one more on each side. And last one right there. And done. Good. We're going to finish off this set. With, I know we just warmed up volleyball jumps, but we're actually going to do them for real. Okay, with the fast feet in between. So, fast feet, fast feet. You're gonna do four, three, two, one, jump. Four, three, two, one, jump. This is your next little set. And then we're gonna get into the bulk of the workout. So, 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, fast feet. And jump. One, two, three, four, jump. If you don't wanna jump, your option, heel lift only. Good, keep going. Those of you that have been itching to do some cardio, here it is. Nice work, nice work, come on. You've got eight seconds to go. Almost there, guys, three, two, one, and done. Take a little active recovery. Your next move is knee twist. So I want you to keep your torso nice and tight, elbows are wide. And you're twisting across your body without folding down. Ready, set, and begin. Twist, twist. Make the focus baby obliques. Take a little pause, if you would like, to each side. 
You can even take your feet a little wider if you want to. Good work, good work. We've got eight seconds to go. So the idea with this part of the workout is just to get our heart rate up into a nice high intensity zone so we can knock things out and be a little more effective. One more and done. Back to those fast feet. You've got 10 second recovery. Fast feet, jump. Now, you want to have a little fun. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, and then a jump. All right? Let's go right here, 30 seconds. Out, out, in, in. Jump. Leave with your opposite leg every single time. It's really quick transitions, okay? And you just go at your own pace, whatever works for you. Come on, 10 seconds left. Come on, pump your arms while you're going. And three, two, time. Whew. Nice job, nice job, it felt awesome. All right, last thing you're gonna do with the knee lift and the twist. It's a squat and twist, squat and twist. If you wanna stay with that first option, totally fine. Here we go, three, two, one. Begin, squat, twist. I'm gonna drive up off the ground on that one foot by pressing your heel down. Good, fingers behind the ears. Keep those elbows wide to work your back as well. Almost there, eight seconds to go. Nice work guys, three, two, and one and done. All right, take a big drink of water, take a big recovery, and we're gonna move on. So, heart rate's high. We're now gonna go into our eccentric training. We're gonna do some eccentric work with pulsing or higher intensity moves at the end of each little set, okay? So we're gonna start with 50 seconds on, 10 seconds of the pulses, all the way through a round of, I believe we have seven exercises, no my line six, and then I got a big hit uh, intermission for you, and then we'll knock out that list again with 40 seconds and then 30 seconds, all the while the pulsing and the high intensity goes up in time. So that's what we're looking at. First move, squats. These are goblet squats, so take your big weight, okay? Right, when you only have one size weight, no big deal. Toes are turned out. Big weight, you're gonna go slow down. Knees pointed out, quick up, all right? So that is your time frame. I'm sorry, that is your exercise, your time frame is 50 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, and begin. So it's a lot of time under tension. This is why. So I'm even taking my feet wider than my mat, just as a reference point, because it's a lot harder on the inner thighs. Good. I don't know about you, but I have sweat dripping down me already from just that brief cardio in the beginning. Great way to start this workout. If you don't want to use weight, I still want you to keep your hands under your chin, okay? Just to keep that body upright. Now we have 10 seconds left, and your next move is gonna be a pulse right in the middle. Almost there. You're gonna stay in the bottom right here and pulse it out. Let's go for 10. Pulse it out. Push your knees a little bit wider. You can even turn those toes out. Tuck your tailbone under. Almost there. Three, two, one, and release. Good. Set that weight down. We'll take 15 second recoveries in between, so kick up your legs. Moving on, push-ups are next. So to the ground. Again, it's 50 seconds. It's slow down. Quick up. So get ready. Hands to the outside of your mat, knees or toes. Okay, and begin. Slow, slow, slow. Push up. Remember, in the bottom of this move, your shoulder blades pull together around your spine. Ha. With these slow push-ups, your body's got to move as one unit. We're not doing the body wave here at all. Come on. You are halfway. We've got this, we've got it. I know it hurts. I know these are hard. They make your push-ups that much stronger. Almost there. In three seconds, that's one more push-up. Now go back to the bottom, from the bottom, push-up. 
10 seconds. Come on, baby push ups. Feel your back working harder than before. Come on, three, two, one, and done. Rock back and stretch it out. Again, 15 second recovery. Whew. Need a towel on this one. All right, we're gonna pick up our weights. I want you to go as heavy as you can. Come on, heavy weights. I'm gonna try my 15s. I don't know how long I'm gonna last with them, but I'm gonna try them. I know Beth's out there rocking like 25, so I should definitely be trying to my 15s. All right, so slow up, quick down. Here we go. Ready, set, begin. Three, two, one, quick down. Good. And we will change these patterns as we go, but this first one, we're going to slow up. Okay? But you're still controlling on the way down, right? Nice work. Good to lift heavy every once in a while, right? We kind of get into our routine, our same weight that we always use, and then we don't generally see a lot of changes. So, change up your weight once in a while. You're gonna feel different supporting and stabilizing muscles, which we talked about last week, and you know, having to engage to hold your heavy weight. Woo! We've got eight seconds until we pulse, all right? Come on, it's only a pulse for 10 seconds. Ready, middle of the range, and pulse, pulse. If your weight's too heavy, just hold isometric. That is your option. And here's four, three, two, and done. Whew. Let those bad boys down, and take a little stretch. Press your hands away. All right, coming up next. You do need a heavier weight, or you can link two weights together. I'm gonna use one weight, you've got a suitcase carry, so. The idea here is that you're holding it to one side, okay, and normally your body would want to lean. Your job is to correct your body so your shoulders are over your hips. So if you don't have a heavy weight and you can hold more than one weight, I want you to do that, all right? All you're gonna do is walk forward and back on your mat. So forward, tap, and then back, that's it. If you don't feel comfortable walking backward, then just walk around your house. If you've got a light weight, challenge yourself. By moving around more, maybe going up and down stairs. You've got 30 seconds left right here. So again, stabilizing, right? Muscles used to help us keep us upright. Nice job, you've got eight seconds here. Ooh, walking backwards is no joke, right? All right, so try to keep this heavy weight. We are gonna go into some row pulses in just a moment. I want you to stop in the middle, hinge just a little bit like you're about to set that suitcase down, and you're gonna row, row, just right in the middle of the range. Tiny, feel this in your back, a little bit in the tricep even. Three, two, one, and stand tall. Switch to the other side. All right, here we go, reset, shoulders back. Now, again, if you're leaning to one side, I know it's a huge exaggeration, pull yourself up. Here we go, walking forward and back on the mat or around your house. Wherever your space looks like, just use it. The one thing I want you to think about too is when you're walking, should we be walking looking down at the ground? No, we walk around with our chest lifted and we walk with good posture. Unless you're one of the people who walk around your phone in front of your face, I don't recommend that. Good, keep going. I want you to think about your posture here. Roll your shoulders back in place a little more. A little bigger pinch. Good. So if you ever need to do something for your upper body, but man, your neck, your shoulders are tight, okay, these kind of carries with heavy weights, so good, just pulls everything away from your ears, releases tension, and here's your last one right here. So hinge at your hips, try not to lean over, and baby pulses, let's go, 10, 9, 8, 7, come on, pull, tiny, 3, 2, and set it down, good job, all right. So moving along guys, we have mini band work. So you want to grab, I would go a little heavier than you did um, for your warm up mini band, somewhere in the middle of your, if, I mean if you have some different options, I would do something more in the middle. I'm going to do medium, okay? We're going to mimic a pull up, all right? So you're going to have your hands on the outside of your band, okay? Like your hands are over on the pull up bar, right? And you can even turn them so that, you know, your palms are facing away from you. And you're gonna pull down, and you're gonna hold right here. So your elbows are wide, your chest is open, and you're just doing a, like a, a hang, all right? 
right? So think about it hanging from a pull apart. Okay, bring back some flashbacks to junior high. Here we go. Three, two, one, and pull. If you have a pull up bar in your house, you just go hang from that pull up bar. Okay, hold here. And if you need to change your grip, like part way through, you can always change your grip any way you want, as long as you're feeling the squeeze in your upper back. Now, another thing you want to think about, pull that chin in a little bit. Okay, we tend to kind of arch because our, our back is working so hard. If you're not feeling this at all, Okay, pull the band apart a little bit more. Again, notice all the other muscles besides just your back that are working here to hold you in place. Three, two, we're gonna pulse. Up and down, just an inch. Up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Woo! All right, moving along. Overhead carry, all right? So, uh, now, if overhead doesn't feel good for you, you're doing one hand on each weight. But I'm gonna do overhead here, why? If we lift heavy weight in a stabilized position where we don't bend at the joint at all, we just lock those joints down, we pull our shoulder blades down and together, and you can see this, okay? Even just standing here, you have to draw your abdominal, then you have to squeeze your butt, and you hold, your chin is tucked in. That's not for you, hold them by your side. If you wanna walk, you walk. One or 50 seconds, right here. Try not to bend at the joint, Okay, because we're gonna keep our joints safer by keeping them mostly straight. Yep, and you can like move side to side if you want to. So this move came in really heavy or handy because we just bought this really huge heavy table that is like massive and we had to lift it up over our head. Imagine that. And guess what? Our backs and our forehead is stabilized. Almost there. In three, two, one. We're not gonna pulse with this one. We're just going to take it all the way down. All right. Awesome work, you guys. Time is up on that one. Take a big recovery. I'll be right back in just one moment. All right. Moving into some high intensity. We've got three different exercises. Squat thrust with bicep curl. Okay, if you can do heavy weights, great. If you need to knock it down a little bit, you can. Here's what it looks like. You're gonna squat down, back into a plank, back in. As you stand, you curl, and then you go right back down. When you go down, you're being careful not to just drop your weight. You can do one weight, or you can do no weight. That's your first exercise. Next up, you've got lunge with a dumbbell chop. So we warmed up both of those exercises. Chop and chop, okay? Those are your moves, side to side. And then you're gonna finish with a bicycle crunch and a chest press. So you're on the ground, and you can practice with me if you want to. Bicycle crunch with a chest press right here. All right, three different moves. You've got two times through, 30 seconds each. Get ready with your squat thrust and bicep curl. In three, two, one, go. The idea here is that you get to enjoy the cardio that you love with some weights. Before we go into our next set of slow and pulsing sets. Come on, make these quick and snappy, guys. You've been waiting for this moment. Your modification. You walk back, walk in, and curl. Come on, five seconds. Last one, and done. All right, 15 second recovery. Walk it up. Lunge is next. One weight only. You're gonna chop across your body. You're gonna alternate those lunges. Get ready. Get set and chop. And chop. Check your knee. It needs to track with your toes, not in towards your midline. If you don't want to lunge, but you still want that cross body motion, right there. Or what we did in the beginning with a mini squat. Come on, five. And one more time, and done. Take your weights, go to the ground. Core, chest. So you're on your back. Legs pushing out the bicycle crunch, arms start up. We go in three, two, one, and go. So whatever pace you wanna work at, just fine with me. 
And your back is totally flat and your elbows are reaching wide. Good job, good job. And you can just keep your knees, you know, nice and stable. You don't have to move at all. Just do the arms, that's fine. Come on, five seconds. You've got it. And time, good. Roll yourself back up. You're gonna start that whole thing over one more time. And we love it. Get ready. Pick up your weights. In three, two, one. Begin, down, back, in, curl. To get yourself up to standing, squeeze your butt as tight as you can. I love doing squat thrusts with weights. First of all, my wrists always feel so good. And it slows me down a little bit, makes me work on my form. Five seconds. Come on, last one. And recover. Put one leg down. Get ready. Woo. Going out with the bang, guys. Five seconds until you lunge. Get ready, get set. Here we go. Lunge and cross. Lunge and cross. Now you want to, you get to swing that weight up a little bit higher, just like we did in the warm up. Good, you get to work your back and shoulders that much more. Good job, good job. Woo. 10 seconds. And one more time here, and done. All right, to the ground. Chest press, bicep curl. Let's go. It's amazing how doing 30 seconds versus 20 seconds is so much harder. Here we go. Talking about those Tabatas from Monday. Whew. Come on. Feel your low back, press to the mat. Maybe you need to go up. A little higher with your legs, that's okay. You can even just hold an isometric hold here and do the legs if you want to. Come on, five seconds. Uh, three, and time. All right, roll yourself up. Stand to your feet. Get a drink of water. Whew. We are done with that first round. We are moving on. So back to our slow squat. Okay, slow squat is next. We've got 40 seconds on the clock, 20 seconds of pulses. So put your weight underneath your chin, call the squat, shoulders pulled down. Here we go. Slow down, quick up. Now remember, our feet are a little bit wider with our toes turned out. So we can grab our inner thighs and make sure they're working. They don't always get work like we like. Good job. As you're going down, you're pulling up and in through your abdominals. Nice. Enjoy this slow stuff because in eight seconds, we are going fast and furious in our pulses. Good. One more time. Are right, you going right back down? Pulse for 20 seconds. Yep, that's what I said. Pulse it out. Come on, stay low. Keep that weight right under your chin so that you don't pull forward. In three, two, and time. Oh, that made a difference, didn't it? Set your weight down. Push ups. Three counts down, one count up. And we start at five. Knees or toes, your choice. And begin. Slow down, quick up. Come on, pinch the shoulder blades in the bottom. You've got this, guys. If you need to go to your knees, it's okay. But stopping is not okay. So I'm gonna go to my knees, because sometimes you gotta do that. Nice work, nice work. We've got time for about two more slow ones before we gotta push from the bottom up. Here we go. We're going right back down to the bottom, hold. Now push up from the bottom, up, up, 
up, come on. Work your core as well, tighten up your whole body. I know, burns. You can modify by taking your knees under your hips as well. In five, four, and time is up. Rock back and stretch. Woo! All right, let's go back to our feet. Towel off if you need to. Curls are next. This time, quick up, slow down. Little change up. So grab heavy weight. Get ready. Get set, begin. Quick to the top, slow down. Oh, that's a big difference, isn't it? Good work. Hammer curls are always a little more gentle. Okay, palms up, always make it more challenging. Let's go. I always love to walk around when I'm doing bicep curls. Takes my mind off the pain, so whatever you need to do. Good, we're almost there. We've got about eight seconds left. And then you're gonna pulse it up the middle. It's gonna be hard, but you can do it. Here we go, three, two, plant your feet and pulse, pulse. Come on, 20 seconds. What have you got? <sighs> Almost there, eight seconds to go, you got this. And four, three, and time, up. Gently set those weights down. Woo. All right, moving along. Suitcase carry, remember one on each side. We'll do right first and then left. So pick up your heavy weight. Set your body up again. Level yourself out. So imagine you can walk around with a book on your head. Forward and back on your mat, let's go. 40 seconds. So you can do these kind of carries all the time with like, you know, jugs of milk or whatever you have handy. Maybe buy lots of things in bulk, I don't know. You just carry them around like this and you're getting a great workout. Not only that, forearms, grip strength. Also working here. Okay, once you've gone forward and back a few times, maybe you want to go side to side. Just kind of a little grapevine to the side, change it up a little bit. Good, you got one more time, whichever way you're traveling, and then you're hinging at your hips, ready? Set, hinge, and pull, pull. Tuck your chin in, 20 seconds. Oh baby, bicep, back, triceps, all working here. Come on, five seconds to go. And time is up, good. Transition to the other side, shake that arm, move your fingers in and out and reset the body, shoulders roll back. And again, take it for a walk right here. Take it around, stand up tall. Good, now again, if you want to do another one or two forward and back without looking down at the floor, and then start to take, start to take your little grapevine here, side to side. Maybe you feel like you're gonna get tangled up and you wanna do some side stepping, like little squats, you can do that too. I love this, my back is so much stronger just by holding this heavy weight. And pause for a moment, hinge up your hips and pull. Pull, come on. Elbow leads the way, up and back. Just like this, right here. Never releasing tension. Five seconds to go. And time. Is up. Good. Set that weight down. Awesome job. Whew. All right. Mini band. You grab your mini band. If that one before was too heavy or recommended a heavy one for you, then guess what? You have options. You can always go lighter. Okay. So if you don't want to hold on to the mini band, okay, another option is you can't take your hands forearms in, but I'm gonna hold. Right? So start up like you're holding on to a pull-up bar, brace your core, soften your knees. Pull down and pull your chin in, hold, 40 seconds. Oh. Okay, so it's really, a, I want everybody to rotate your shoulders back and around. Good. This works muscles, right, that we relax a lot during our day. We don't want to do that. Good, you are halfway, guys. Move around if you need to. Like I said, I always move around. Feels good, takes my mind off the pain. Give yourself a little challenge. Pull that band apart. Just another half inch. 
All right, from here, you're gonna push up and into down and it's ready, set, let's go. Up, down, up, down, without rounding your shoulders forward. Maybe you just need to continue holding and not move, that's fine. But we are almost there. Oh, let's go for eight seconds more. And three, two, one, and release. Ha, huh. good, move those arms. Take your head side to side, give a little roll. All right, we've got that overhead carry again, or option for both hands hanging down, okay? So take your heavy weights, lift them up over your head, or actually over your shoulders, I should say. Check in with your low back. See how my low back is arched? Tuck your butt under a little bit, and squeeze your glutes. Okay, arms are straight, 40 seconds, we hold or you walk, okay? Either one, straighten up those arms, straighten them up, reach, reach, reach. Good job. Again, forward and back with your movement, or side to side, or maybe you just stand there. Again, if you have light weights, try to, maybe go up and down your stairs. Just give it a, a little challenge. Woo, anybody feel their back working? Tuck your hips under. If you start to compromise your low back, tuck everything under. We're almost there. Good work. You've got three, two, one, and done. All right, set those weights down. How about another high intensity set? I know you're good for it. I'm feeling awesome. This is gonna be our last one of this movement. So you've got the squat thrust with the bicep curl. Okay, after that, you've got the lunge with the row, or I'm sorry, the chop on either side, and then the bicycle crunches. So, here we go. All right, here we go, 30 seconds on the clock, get ready. Shoulders back, get set, and go. Down, back, in, curl. Make it your intent to get your heart rate back up as high as it was the first time you did this. Good job. 10 seconds left. How many more can you get? And done. All right. One leg only. Woo! Lunges with that chop. Make it hard. Get ready. Get set. Cross over the front leg, up through the middle. Cross and lift. It doesn't have to be fast. That's not the goal. I do want your knee to trap with your toes. That is extremely important here. Come on, five seconds, we got this. We're all burning out together. And last one, done. Take both weights, go to the ground. Bicycle crunch. With your chest press, we're gonna start in five. Grab your weight, pull your belly button down, and go, 30 seconds. Should be breathing hard at this point, guys. Nice work, nice work, you've got 10 seconds, come on, don't stop now. And five, four, time. Bring yourself up. We're not done. We can't stay down forever. Come on, let's do it again. Squat thrust with the bicep curl. We start in five. Reset. Get ready. Go. Back. In. Curl. Come on. I want you to stick that landing, heels down, knees wide. If you need to just curl only, you can do that. Ah. You've got five seconds, come on, get at least one more, maybe two. I'm going for two. There it is, done. One weight only. Woo. All right, guys, shoulders back, back stepping lunge with the cross body chop. In three, two, one, go. 
Take that knee straight down the middle. Keep your chest up. Now go big. Right here, get it up. You've got 10 seconds. Remember, bend those arms if you need to modify. Take a tap instead of a lunge. Just keep moving. And last one, done. All right, to the ground. Chest press, bicycle crunches. And then we're done with the hard stuff. We're gonna move into a little bit of a core challenge. So, grab your weights. You're gonna take your legs up and begin. 30 seconds. Come on, breathe it out. Enjoy the challenge. Enjoy being breathless. Be thankful your body can work this hard and come back for more in a couple days. Come on, you have five seconds. Three. And done. All right, set those weights down. Woo! You're gonna just roll yourself gently up to a seated position. I know all the blood is just gonna rush from your head. Just rest for a moment. Seated position here. Ah, okay, let's move on. A little bit of hip work here. Disguised as abdominal training, okay? So, I'm gonna change the view here a little bit. Point it down, we're gonna be on the floor for the rest of the workout, so if you need to make any changes with your screen, you can go ahead and do that right now. But seated on the floor. All right, so we're gonna take our, let's see, left leg in and right leg back, okay? So you can kind of see that action here. Now we're gonna be leaning over on our um, left side and our right leg is gonna be doing the moving, okay? So make sure you have a little room. You can either have your hand on the ground or your elbow, it's up to you. But what we're gonna do is work our obliques and work our hips and glutes from this position here. So my inner thigh is pointed down to the mat and my knee is pointing away from me here, okay? So it's kind of like a modified side plank, if you will. We don't wanna be down here, we wanna be pushed away from the ground, okay? From here, all you're gonna do is pulse your leg up. Okay, so just pulse that leg up. Imagine you've got a string attached to the outside of your knee, up to the ceiling, and you're just pulsing up right there. Now if you can, take your other hand, place it behind your ear or straight up. It just adds to the challenge of your core having to support your body. Okay, almost there. Here's three, two, one. You're not done. You're gonna go round in a circle. Small circles, tiny. So you're gonna feel your glutes burning out and your abdominals burning out from holding you in place. Go in the opposite direction. Keep the same bend in the knee the whole time. And three, two, one, and release. Now take that leg, bring it in front of you. Cross it, crisscross, and we're gonna take a stretch for that hip and glute. So you just take your hands to your sides and lean forward. Ah. Okay, so whichever side you just worked, I want that same arm to come up and over. You can even lean down, as long as your glutes or your sitting bones are hitting the floor, you're in a good spot. All right, let's try it on the other side. So, now your right leg is front, left leg is back, either hand or elbow, and then you just pop that leg off the floor right there, okay? So, already here, knee at 90 degrees, hand wherever you're most comfortable, and you're just pulsing that knee up. The movement's really happening from the hips and glutes here. So, elbow up or hand up, up to you. Doing great, you guys. A little different core training today, but again, always needed in different ways. Three, two, one, and circle it around. So your inner thigh still points to the ground, and you circle will go both ways. So just choose one. Small, three, two, and switch directions. Whew. Good job. Keep the body stable, it's just that leg moving. Three, two, one, and done. Bring that leg in front, oh, crisscross, and hands out to the side, tip forward a little bit. 
And then the side that you just worked, you're going to take your arm up and over. Good job. All right, we're going to continue to stretch and work the abdominals at the same time. So roll over onto your back. Okay, roll over onto your back. Your legs are going straight up. Oh no, I'm sorry. One leg is going straight up, the other one is going down. And we're just going to do full leg lower. So our hips are grounded, our abdominals are pushing our back to the floor. Take your elbows to the floor and your knuckles pointing up. You're going to lower down for two counts, almost touching the floor, and then right back up, nice and slow hold. So you're taking a pause at the top, okay, to get a hamstring stretch, hold. But then abdominals have to work to lower the leg. With the elbows on the floor like this, we work in posture. Be a little squeeze through our mid-back, which we always need more of. And one more time. And I want you to hold right there. Good. You're going to take this leg and cross it over your other leg. You can place your hands on the floor now. So figure four for a moment. And then we're going to turn this into a bridge with a figure four. So two counts up. Squeeze through your glutes. Press your knee open. Slowly lower back down. And let's do it again. So pausing at the top to stretch. And slowly bring it down. Good. Two more. Up. And good. One more time. Just exhaling as you go up. And lower back down. Good job. And release. Good. Take that leg down. Your other leg goes up, flex your foot. It's okay if your leg's not perfectly straight, don't worry about it. Elbows to the mat, knuckles up. Pull your abdominals down so your hips are neutral and all the way down to the mat. And engage the abdominals to come up, hold. Again. Okay, so if you're not feeling very flexible and this maybe bothers your low back, you can bend your bottom leg a little bit to take some stress off your low back. Okay, we've got two more. And last one right here. And at the top, I'm going to hold. And release your hands, cross that leg over. First hold your figure four. Whew, a lot of hip work tonight. And hands by the, um, on the floor. And slowly bring your hips up, hold. And slowly bring it down. Just three more of those, there's not too many. As you're at the top, push your knee open. And one more time here, all the way up. And release, good job. All right guys, we're gonna take our hands behind our legs and sit up and good. If you need to bend your knees in this position, you can, but we're gonna take our hands behind our back Rock back onto our knuckles. If your shoulders are forward, just kind of inch them back and around. Okay, lift your chin up off your chest. You can stretch more by going back further, if it feels good. I always like to go on my knuckles instead of my hands, but you can do what you want to do. And you can hold this stretch. I'm going to give you two more layers of this stretch. Okay, the next one is to bend one leg and then press your hips up without caving in. So you have to be able to continue to roll your shoulder blades back and around. And I think we're actually just going to stop there tonight. So you can go to a full plank with both legs out, but a lot of times it causes more stress on the shoulders than stretch. So lower the hips down and then switch to the other side. Bend the knee. And again, if you need to just stay back here, no problem. Lift your hips, roll your shoulders back and around. You're going to feel that stretch in the front of your shoulders and in your pecs and your abs, and three, and release, good. Stay in position, and we'll just take a couple of head rolls, just take your time. Ah, oh, feels so good. So don't go anywhere, but that is our last uh, in-person Zoom class for this month. And we, I still want you to work out next week. Doesn't mean that it's a week off, it means it's a week of recovery. So if you know anything about high intensity interval training, it can be really stressful in your joints, okay? Your neck, your muscles, and so it's good to try some different things, okay? To let your body recover so that you can come back really fresh. 
if you're coming back, okay, or if you're going on to something else, whatever that looks like, but I want you to take the time to do active recovery. I did these workouts, I obviously filmed them for you, and I'll tell you what, I am so sore <laughs> because I did different exercises with you than we normally do, and we work different muscles, okay? So even though it says core and stretching, don't be fooled, you're gonna get a workout, <laughs> okay? You're gonna feel like, Oh, all the muscles under my rib cage. I can't. <laughs> Why do they hurt? So I'm just in hopefully encouraging you to take that time to, to try some different things. Okay. The other thing I want to really quick chat with you tonight. Um, I forgot to tell you on Monday. I apologize. But our focus for this week is um, attacking the day. Okay. That sounds really intense, right? <laughs> but what it means is I want you to review your morning routine, okay? Or maybe it's your night routine. But for most people, it's their morning routine because that's kind of what sets them going for the day. So you don't have a morning routine and it's kind of just like, oh, I get out of bed and whatever happens, happens. Okay, that's, that's not like horrible, but maybe you could think about some ways that you could set yourself up for a really great day with a lot of focus and a lot of intentionality so that you're not feeling like you're playing catch up. Maybe you don't ever feel like that. I feel like that a lot. So if I'm not in a good pattern in my morning. So I just want you to evaluate that and if you have any questions on, you know, what some morning routines could look like, I mean, everybody has a different one, right? But um, check in with yourself. Have you gotten lazy? Have you been pressing snooze too many times? I had to do that. I had to set myself a limit one snooze. That's it. <laughs> okay? Whatever it looks like, I want you to evaluate some of those ways that you can kind of get your, you know, your right foot forward um, in the very beginning. Okay? So attacking the day, that's your, your tagline for the week. Okay? Any questions? Anybody want to share if they're already doing that? Nobody has a great morning routine? <laughs> oh, Beth, turn your mic up. There, I, I have a pretty good routine. The, puppy sure. keeps, he, the pup keeps me on one, so it's yeah. up, shower, play, walk, feed, go to work. <laughs> good. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, yeah, we have a pretty good routine, and he's kind of, he kind of needs it, too, so. Yeah, there is. There's definitely a lot that can happen in a good morning routine. Anybody else? Hey, Jordan, what about you? <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> to me? I had to move my screen around and find my unmute button. Oh. I think generally I have a pretty good morning routine. I feel like has it been colder, it's definitely slacked and I also push snooze probably too many times, but <laughs> I also have a crazy puppy. I have a boxer and he I think the summer is going to keep me on a pretty good routine of getting up, getting his energy out, and then starting my day. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I know that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you need something to help get you, you know. My goal is I have to get out of bed before they get out of bed. Otherwise, my my day is, you know, not like at all. <laughs> so... That's, I try to get out of bed at least 45 minutes before they do so I can read, you know, I can like, if I need to write or journal or anything like that. That's when I'm my freshest, so I get all my thoughts out and then move on with the day, you know? So it doesn't have to be anything major, but it, whatever it is for you that puts you in a good headspace and a good amount of motivation um, instead of feeling like you're trying to dig yourself out of your pit. <laughs> so anybody else want to share? Anything that they're doing that? Zoe? I was just gonna say thank you. Oh yeah. And um, my only little trick is I have a medication that I take first thing in the morning. So it makes me drink a, a big cup of water. And I think that really is a good way to start. Yeah. I love it. I do that too. I love it. Great. Well, cool. So just a, anybody else want to share before you I say goodbye to you guys? <laughs> no? <laughs> good? Okay. I'm not saying I have to leave, but I'm just saying if anybody else needs to leave and you want to do it gracefully, this is a great chance to do that. <laughs> but, okay, see you later. But, yes, uh, Sunday is Zoom on um, for our free Saturday, our free weekend class. So if you want to check in with this that. This Sunday. This Sunday. Okay. Or you can come cool. in person, too. If you want to come in person on Saturday, you're welcome to do that as well. Is so. it Saturday at 9 and Sunday at 8? Yeah. Yep, okay. Saturday at 9, Sunday at 8. Okay. And, yeah. And there's no real like number restrictions right now, I guess, for outside. So you RSVP would be a wonderful thing. So I know what to do, <laughs> but I'm not, li we're not limited on, you know, Ten people. Like but it's not going to be more than like 10 people. So yeah. it's not having like a hundred people there or anything. 
This is Caroline. Say hi. <sighs> End of a long day. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> well, I hope to see you this weekend. So see you one Thank of the days. You. If I figure it out, I'll let you know. Okay. That sounds great. Thanks. <laughs>